What's the deal, baby? You already know it is the big boss. How boss down can't poke through the dope. Hit the top to the box. So, <laughs> we're talking about Canelo, man. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say it. Y'all cult Canelo fans going to be mad because I am a Canelo fan. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fan of boxing first. Canelo look like he ducking, bro. And these games that this boy playing ain't, ain't, ain't what's cracking. I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you. Let me expound on that. So, Canelo just became undisputed at 68, right? Great, great, great ordeal. You know, uh, I mean, he did a, he fought a great fight. You know, stop Taylor playing. You know, rightfully so. That Benavidez just fought, I think, last week. And he called him out. And then, this is the thing. Not only did he call Canelo out, he said Canelo is, is breaking down. He said Canelo is not the fighter he once was. And he believes that he could beat Canelo. If I'm Canelo, I'm like, I got to fight you, bro. That's just... That's just what it is. You know what I mean? That's the mentality you got to have, bro. Like, this boy say, what? I'm diminishing. Nah, we got to fight. But I, I think that's that's a risky fight for Canelo. It's more like it's a, it's a win. If they've been a V-Dez beats Canelo, it would be a win-win for him. If Canelo beats David Benavidez, yeah, he wins the fight, but it's more like, you know, you're supposed to beat him. You know what I mean? Because of the experience. You know what I mean? Like, that's how they're going to look at it. I think the bigger fight is Canelo versus Jamal Charlo, in which Canelo been ducking that fight since 54. Now, hear me out on why I feel like he's ducking. For starters, like I said, you got a fighter like Dave Benavidez actively calling you out. He's been calling you out. He talking trash, you know, breaking down your style, saying he can beat you. And you still, yet again, refuse to fight this man. Like, you don't even acknowledge that he called you out. It's more like, oh, okay whatever you don't say nothing about it nothing right jamal charlo been calling you out been chasing you since 54 each time jamal charlo getting your weight class you move up now there's a chance jamal charlo i ain't heard nothing but if jamal charlo if canelo say hey i'll fight jamal charlo jamal charlo will move up to 68 i think he'll even vacate that wbc belt I think I think he'd probably be like, hey, if this belt for the fight Canelo. I honestly believe that. You know what I mean? But it's to be determined. But it just looked bad, bro. You know what I mean? Like, that's all I'm saying. You got two fights that you can that well you can make a lot of money on. For starters, you can make a lot of money. I mean, look how much money he made with uh Caleb Plant. And that's just here. They even got the, you know, overseas stuff. You know, overseas pay-per-view buys. Like, he made a lot of money. And he can get another big payday like that if he fights Jamal Charlo. You know what I mean? Now, granted, I would want him to fight David Benavidez, but then I'm like, I don't see that happening. Because David Benavidez is young. You know what I mean? He young, hungry. He ain't going to put himself in that predicament. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like, oh, yeah, I'll fight, uh, you know, him. Because he's a young, hungry fighter. That's kind of like Bud trying to, Bud fighting Boots in it. Like, it's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not going to fight these young, hungry lions like that. You know what I mean? 
Unless, like, they absolutely have to. It's just not going to happen. I do not see, you know, Canelo uh, getting in the ring with Benavidez. I could see Canelo getting in with Jamal Charlo, but it's just like each time the opportunity presents itself to uh, get in there and fight Jamal Charlo, he move up. You know, when he was at 54, he had Jermail and Jamal and then Boo Boo Andre. And he was fighting at 155. Saying, I can't make 54. That one pound is killing me. Then he goes up to 164 and fights Chavez. And then goes up to 60, saying, hey, I can't fight at... Uh, 54 no more. I'm going to 60. So it's just a bunch of excuses. You know what I mean? That uh, that I question with Canelo's activity. Like it looked like a duck. And Antonio Tarver, uh, he said that. He came out and said, like, man, it looks like you ducking. Because now Canelo's gonna fight this African guy. A cruiserweight who is not a top cruiserweight at that division. You know what I mean? Yeah, he has a WBC belt, but he's not a cruiserweight champion. I mean, I'm not a cruiserweight champion. He's not a top cruiserweight, excuse me, at that weight class. You know what I mean? So it's just like, but why are you fighting him? If you're the best, you fight the best. And that's what I'm saying. If you're coming from one weight class and going to another, you fight the other top fighters at that weight class. And that's why I said about Bud Crawford. Everybody's, like, making excuses for him. I'm like, I'm not for excuses, bro. Like, when you're the best, you fight the best. Like Josh Taylor. When he come from, you know, 140, his job is to fight Bud Crawford, Errol Spence, if he's still there, Jan Bruce Ennis, you know, uh, Ortiz, those type of fights. He can't come there and, oh, I'm going to fight uh, Robert the Ghost Guerrero. No. You need to fight the top guys. You, 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 you're a top fighter at 140. You're elite. So you need to fight other elite fighters in these other weight classes. And that's what Canelo need to do. But he like cherry picking and, you know, because I'm telling you what's going to happen. He finna fight at Cruiserweight, which is at 190, and he going to say he can't make 168 no more. I'm telling you. Just look at his patterns, bro. When he fought at 54, and when everybody start wanting to fight him and stuff like that, he start fighting at 155, his own weight. Now, for the Floyd fight, he fought at 152. You know, because that's Floyd. You're going to, you know, the opportunity to beat Floyd, like, come on, man. So, yeah, you're going to fight. Floyd Mayweather, but you can't sit here, bro, and tell me, you know, he ain't strategically ducking. And it's a way for him to look like uh, I'm a, I think he's a four division champion or three division champion. I think it's four division champion. And he's looking to get become a five division champion or something like that. But I don't know, bro. It don't look good, bro. What I think Canelo need to do is tell Edwin also, I want to fight Jamal Charlo. A lot of y'all cult Canelo fans say, oh, you know, Charlo ain't fought nobody, so it should be an easy win, right? Just make the, just make the fight happen, and he should be able to get out there and spark him, right? Because I honestly think that's a 50-50 fight. You're not going to hear me say, oh, Charlo going to come in there and steamroll Canelo. No. You know, I think it's a 50-50 fight. I do think Charlo poses some issues. You know, uh, is Charlo a slick boxer? No, but he's strong. You know what I mean? And he got a lot of tools in his arsenal. You know? So I think that, you know, that would be a good, um, good test. You know? 
they been to be there. That's 50 50 fight. So, you know, but the issue is, is Canelo is, you know, I don't know if he feel like I, I fought a tough fight with Caleb Plant, so I need, you know, a tune up, in which he could have fought a tune up at 68. He could have fought, I mean, if he didn't want to fight a tough fight, he could have fought Darrell. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying Darrell suck, but Darrell is past his prime. You, you get what I'm saying? Although he just got this knockout, but, you know, he's past his prime. He could have fought Darrell if he just wanted to fight. Fought Darrell, you know, beat him, and then fought Jamal Charlo. You fight him down here in Dallas or, or Austin or, you know, that's a big fight. You know what I'm saying? So, I, 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 it don't look good for Canelo, man. Like, each time he does something you give him credit for, he do something that discredits him. You know what I mean? And it's like, you can't vouch for that. No, you can't say nothing that's going to vouch for this man and, and you know, basically give him credit for this move. It's not going to happen. You know what I mean? I think what he needs to do is, I don't know if Canelo came up with this or Eddie Reynoso came up with this. But if I'm Canelo, I'm telling Eddie Reynoso I want to fight Jamal Charlo. And and I feel like Canelo should take time off. I feel like he should fight in September of next year. You fought so many times in 11 months. Like, just enjoy being undisputed. Come back in September of next year. Fight a big fight. You know what I mean? And then you can, you know, after that, get back into fighting two fight times a year and stuff like that. But that's what I personally think, you know? I think he's done a, you know... You know, he done what he need to do at 68 as far as getting all the belts. He still got to fight Dave Benavidez and Jamal Charlo, but, you know, even Andre, like, they'll come up to fight this man. All he got to do is say, I want to fight you and send a contract over. That's it. And these fight, these dudes will move up. I'm telling you, they will move up quick. For the, for the opportunity to fight Canelo Alvarez. Now, most people going to say, oh, it's for a payday. No. It's, they they believe they can they can beat Canelo. I think Andre, Canelo, <laughs> Andre, Canelo don't want to see Demetrius Andre, bro. He's slick and he's softball. It's just not going to be good. It's just not going to be good, man. You know what I mean? And he got power. So... And most people are like, oh, but Andre's at 60. Andre is bigger than Canelo. He's taller. He's longer. Like, I'm pretty sure Andre is walking around weight. He probably weighed more than Canelo walking around wise. He just ain't got the opportunities. But it is what it is. I'll let me know what y'all think, man. You know. I, I, don't, I don't have nothing to say, bro. Like, there's nothing you can say to, to explain this, to, to vouch for this, bro. Like, it looked bad. It just looked like he, it, it just, this this don't look certified. You know what I mean? Y'all let me know. I'm gone.